Good day, and how in the heck are you? This is Al Weissman, and today you are watching the In a Nutshell TV show. Uh, at this time, I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce our guest. We are extremely fortunate to have with us in the studio today a gentleman by the name of Chris Gardner, who came here all the way from Texas to spend a little time with us today. Chris, Thank you. how are you doing? Oh. Thank you, Alan. Thank really you. appreciate you and Dolores having me on today. Uh, we're Thank you. We're very, very grateful that you could come up here and spend some time with us. That's pretty cool. Okay. Hi, I'm Chris Gardner, and I'd like to thank Alan and Dolores for having me on in a nutshell. And I'm going to be playing a few songs from the new CD and from some older CDs. Uh, this first one is uh, called Ice Princess, and it's uh, basically about dating one of the uh, housewives of New Jersey. One of those uh, girls that'll uh, kind of put you through hell a little bit, and some guys will go through hell for a taste of the forbidden fruit, as it were. So uh, uh, here's to the, uh, us who escaped. <laughs> it's called Ice Princess. Well, it's hard when you love a woman She's got a heart as cold as stone She's harder than the winter nights Chew you to the bone Start you off so slow and easy And then when the time is right You wait until you're fast asleep and Slip off into the night Cause sometimes she's a fiery red and Sometimes ice blue Take you home back to bed and go crazy on you. She's a no good, feel good, always in a bad mood, devil in a long white dress. Tell me some more of your lies, Ice Princess. Well, it's hard when you try to leave her, but your heart keeps saying no. Once she gets her hooks in you, she ain't never gonna let you go. She wrap you around her little finger and she bring you to your knees. And when she calls you on the phone, you're gonna bring her anything that she needs. Yeah, sometimes she's a fiery red, sometimes ice blue. She take you home back to bed and go crazy on you. She's a no good, feel good, always in a bad mood, devil in a long white dress. Tell me some more of your lies, ice princess. And when she smiles, you know she, she really turns me on. And she can get my motor running, keep me going all night long. Fiery red, sometimes ice blue. She take you home, back to bed, and go crazy on you. She's a no good, feel good, always in a bad mood, devil in a long white dress. So tell me some more of your lies, ice princess. Tell me some more of your lies. That is Ice Princess. Some of us managed to escape. Some of us so now, uh, I understand that you, even though you live in Texas now, you originally were in New York, in the Buffalo area? I, I grew up up in Buffalo, New York, uh -huh. yes. And I, I still consider that home. You all, you all are from up here. You, you understand the deep of roots course, of the city. Yeah. You know, uh, Houston's my adopted home now, but Buffalo always is going to have a special place in my heart. Um, so you, you ran out of Buffalo as fast. Uh, no, I didn't say <laughs> There was a... Won't you have a beverage with me? Would you like to hear my new song? I would love to hear your new song. My favorite restaurant has a first name. It's D-O-C-K-E-R-S. My favorite restaurant has a second name. It's N-O-R-T-H. Oh, I love to eat here every day. If you ask me, I will say D-O-C-K-E-R-S. N-O-R-T-H is the best. Okay. Sorry, Grandpa. I could sit here for hours every day. I write a thousand words and throw them all away. 
Welcome back to In a Nutshell. Well, so when did you uh, move to Texas? I moved right after high school. Uh -huh. I came down to go play baseball at Texas at Arlington. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you're a, you're a baseball player. Well, I was until I the shoulder blew out oh. <laughs> my first year. Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. So then then I took up hockey. <laughs> so Is that you could play hockey, but you couldn't play baseball. Yes, I just I couldn't throw anymore. The oh, shoulder wow. was so sore. That yes. That seems ironic because those yeah. hockey guys have to be oh, you know, they're yeah. banged around more yes. than any other sport. Yes. Yes. But it's not the same banging. It's a little different banging, yeah. yes. The knees and the legs were okay still. <laughs> so You're lucky about that. Yes, yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand besides being a musician, a hockey player, you're also a locksmith? I am, yes. Uh -huh. um, we, we handle more on the commercial side um, with electronic in the, in the age of electronic card access and, and um, things like that. We, we gear more towards that side. You know, Texas is an unusual state. My brother lives in San Antonio. Oh, okay, sure. So we used to go down sure. there every once in a while. And uh, one time on our way down to visit him, we drove through uh, Dallas. Yes. And mm -hmm. we figured while we're in Dallas, We'll see all the John F. Kennedy sure, stuff. Sure, yes. Uh -huh. Traffic was at a complete standstill, oh, we're moving, yes. inching, literally inching along, and we didn't know where the, uh, you know, the, where the, the sites exactly were located. Was, so sure. there was an officer who happened to be standing right next to the car, and I said, officer, could you please tell me where John F. Kennedy was shot? Mm -hmm. And he says, yeah, right about here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a true story. Oh, that is funny. Oh. <laughs> So how, uh, what uh, prompted you to, I mean, were you a musician since you were a kid? Did you always play an instrument? Did you adapt it when you, you know, at an older age in your life or what, what's the deal? I always loved music ever since I was little. My mom would sing and we would sing all the time. I was in bands through high school um, and then I started writing. So I, I came down to, uh, when I was in Fort Worth, um, there was a real good friend of mine um, had a little Tascam recorder that they would record in the garage. The old thing where you could, it was a four channel, but you could pan it down and you get 16 channels out of it. So we started recording on that and um, we went into a real studio. I think I was 20 at the time. And um, his band came in and backed me up on the first song that I recorded in the studio. And there was a competition um, in Dallas of uh, one of the radio stations was calling the project 12 by 12. They were picking 12 local artists, one original song, and they put the whole uh, album together. And I was fortunate enough to have that first one get on there. This next one up is from the Summertime CD. Um, and uh, it's a song about a young couple that was very much in love. And he had the dream of becoming a rock star. So um, he headed off on tour, tried to chase his dream with every intention of coming back and spending the rest of the life with her. And uh, as the weeks turned into months and the months turned into years, he never quite made it back. And I think we've all had that in our lives where we've met somewhere, someone, some along the way and thought they may be the one, but you're either with somebody different or the timing's bad. And you get 20 years down the road and you uh, wonder what if. Uh, I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason, but uh, here's, here's to wondering. It's called The Rocky Road. After standing in the rain, Colorado Someday I would come back home Then I headed down the road to find tomorrow I was all alone I was all alone And she said that she would sometimes think about me Sometimes sitting, I wonder how love drifted out of sight. And I won't forget the feeling I get when I held her late at night. I'd look in 
into those deep brown eyes Ask her, darling, please To walk down that rocky road with me Now the sun don't seem to shine as bright in the summertime And the miles on the road can't leave behind the pain And chasing after this dream it sure gets hard sometimes Here I go again I still think about her every day It's lonely living this life that I've chosen without her I know it's better this way God knows it's better this way Still I sometimes sit and I wonder how love drifted out of sight and I won't forget the feeling I'd get when I held her late at night. I'd look into those deep brown eyes, ask her, darling, please, to walk down that rocky road with me. Yes, I'd look into those deep brown eyes, ask her, darling, please. Down that rocky road with me. The rocky road. The rocky road. When mom was being discharged from the hospital, dad was very happy that he called Oracle Home Health because mom was homebound. When it's time for in home care, Oracle Home Health brings quality and compassion to your home. With Oracle Home Health, an RN will customize a plan of care to meet mom's needs. Because mom deserves to be home, relaxing in her own bed. Call 224-470-5130. Take advantage of quality home care with Oracle Home Health. Welcome back to In a Nutshell. You write your own tunes. Yes. Do you yes. do it yourself? Do you collaborate with others or do you do both? Or Typically the writing I do myself and I've got a real great uh, cast of musicians in Houston. Um, I find I had recorded many different ways with the bands that I was playing with. Um, and then uh, three projects ago, um, I was working with Andy Bradley, who was a very uh, well-known um, engineer and producer in Houston. Um, and he said, Chris, you know, why not I get you together with my A-team is what he called them. It's a group of studio musicians that are used to, you know, it's a, it's a different feel when you're in the studio. Some mm -hmm. guys can play live and then you go to try to play to a click track and you're all over the place, sure, you know? Sure. So I came in and started working with them. One of them is uh, Paul English, who's an incredible piano uh, player. And um, uh, what, what's great about him is he could be writing music for a 60-piece orchestra one day and then playing jazz the next, then coming and recording on my Americana Country Pretty music cool. the next and never miss a Talented beat. Man. So I come in with basically a, uh, um, uh, the, the structure of the song uh, and the chord progressions, and then basically they sprinkle, uh, sprinkle a little magic fairy dust on it. Kind of, so. And some songwriters try to try to pigeonhole these, you know, incredibly talented musicians. Oh, this is exactly how I wanted to play. This is exactly what I want. These guys are seasoned veterans. They played for, for years on, on thousands of projects. I just let them, let them go with it, whatever you're feeling, you know? Mm -hmm. And that has come across, it really comes across in the music because it lets them open up a little bit and be themselves. And sure. it, 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 it's throwing a little bit more into the stew. <laughs> you know, everybody sure, throws sure. a little bit in. And uh, so we've been, I've been real lucky with some of the artists I've worked with. We had uh, um, Wayne the Animal Turner uh, on this. He plays lead guitar. He, he played with uh, Hank Williams Jr. Oh, for wow. 26 years on the road and lived to tell the tale, too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not many guys can hang with Bo Cephas for <laughs> 27 years. That's great. In some of your bio material, I, I, I saw that you pay attention to hooks. To, we have an yeah. ongoing discussion on our show 
uh, where I, you know, every, all the musicians have their own way of looking at hooks, sure. of creating hooks. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts about hooks like that? I think it, it you know, for me personally, and then getting back to you know uh, uh, co-writing, uh, most of my songs are about personal experiences that I've been through. It's almost like therapy, so it's it's sometimes it's hard to drag somebody into that lyrically wise because you're you're coming from a spot so deep. Sure. Um, but in my case, the songs are, are basically or the hooks are basically the essence of the song. You know, I, I really, I, I grew up in that era like that. in the cool. 60s and 70s where, where songs that you could sing along to yeah, yeah. and you thought that they're singing directly to you. Yeah. And those are the kind of songs that I, that I like. Nice. And, yeah. I understand that um, you have a new CD out now. Yes, sir. Hanging on the line. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's different from walking the line. It's different from walking the line, <laughs> but not much. Not much. <laughs> not much. Yeah, you're hanging out. Yeah, when line. you're walking, then the next minute you're hanging. Sure. <laughs> yes. Now, is that what that really means? No, no. That that, that song. Like, that's an original song, and that's laundry, that's or? one of the ones that I'm going to be playing. That is more, um, you know. There's, there's times in our lives as we're going through it that, you know, a d big decision comes up or a crossroad comes up yeah. and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm, I need some kind of sign waiting for some kind of answer uh, to, to re reassure yourself that you're making the right decision. Sure, and, sure. That, you know, that, that song says, uh, um, uh, basically, I'm waiting here. <laughs> for the answer. Come today or come tomorrow, I'll still be hanging on the line, okay. you know, so I'll still be waiting here for the answer. All right, all Sometimes right. you need that reassurance, sure, you know, even though uh, it basically comes from deep within yourself. Mm -hmm. so what musicians have influenced either your songwriting or your uh, and your musicianship in some way, shape, or form sure. or another. Sure. Well, I think we all fall back to the Beatles <laughs> because I, ever since I was little, I'd be sneaking into my brother's room, you know, listening to their albums. Um, some of the other, uh, the Eagles were a big influence on me. Um, Neil Young, Bob Seger, um, uh, uh, Sam Cooke. I love a lot of the old Motown stuff, mm -hmm. too. There was such soul in that. that and, uh, um, Peter Gabriel and a lot up here, you know, in Genesis and things like that. I listen to a lot of that also. Um, and some of the country, the early country stuff. You know, I'm, I'm thrown in the country genre, uh, the Americana country genre, but I'm, I'm uh, more of a, uh, it's more Southern rock, I guess, okay. in, in that aspect. Okay. Um, the next one we got up today is, um, I finally had to come to grips with the uh, fact that I am a country artist. <laughs> I fancied myself a rocker for years, uh, but uh, um, so uh, with the success of the Summertime CD, um, I decided to set out and write a true country song about smoking and drinking and shooting whiskey and shooting pool. and. Uh, um, we pre-released this one. This is off of the new album, Hanging on the Line, and it actually went up to number one on the Indie World Country Charts. It spent 26 weeks on there, so we're very thankful to all the radio stations out there for playing it. Um, and this one is called A Lot More Than a Little. Smoking me a fat one, sipping on a bottle of gin. I was trying to unwind, trying to wrap my mind around the trouble that I got myself in. She said I'd better stay home and not go out with my boys to play. She told me that I'd regret it later, but I went ahead and did it anyway. I got one foot on the throttle, oh baby. One foot in the grave One hand think about tomorrow, baby And all of the mistakes that I have made I may not be a real smart man No one thing is true It's gonna take a lot more than a little love And get me on back to you Sitting in the corner of the smoky old pool hall Throwing down a double jack Saw a girl so fine made me lose my mind And I don't think that I'm ever gonna get it back This last thing I remember While we was making out at the bar Next thing I knew my baby caught us in the park And I rolled around naked in the back of her car Now I got 
got one foot on the throttle, baby, and one foot in the grave. One hand on the bottle, drinking about all of the mistakes that I have made. I may not be what you call a real smart man, but no one thing is true. It's gonna take a lot more than a little love to get me on back to you. shining and the clouds all gone away think about those times we spent together and now that you're gone I miss a little more every day and I'm so alone sorry baby please come home one foot on the throttle baby and one foot in the grave one and think about tomorrow, baby, and all of the mistakes that I have made. I may not be a real smart man, but no one thing is true. It's gonna take a lot more than a little love to get me on back to you. It's gonna take a lot more than a little love to get me on back to you. If somebody wanted to hire you, well, you, you, I don't suppose you'd be looking for gigs in the Chicagoland area. We're gonna, we're looking to play all over now. Really? Yeah, I've got, we're looking at right now into a lot of the festival gigs and um, uh, uh, all over. So yes, I mean you can go to my website is chrisgardnermusic.com. It's got all my information on there. It's got a lot of the other videos and and songs and a little and bios and uh, some of the videos from past performances. Okay, great. So, very yeah. cool. I'd like to wish a very happy anniversary to my lovely, beautiful wife, Paula. Paula, thank you for uh, giving me a hall pass on our anniversary. <laughs> it's our anniversary today. So uh, I'd just like to say uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, coming into my life and all the joy that you bring into my life. And I'll be home tomorrow and I will start kissing up then, honey. <laughs> um, this next one, we, we talked a little about it in the interview. Um, it's a song about as, as we all go through through life, we come across crossroads and, and decisions that need to be made, and sometimes they're life-altering decisions. And uh, um, you know, you, everybody's got different views on it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray on it. Oh, I'm gonna meditate on it. Uh, but basically, you're looking for some kind of sign to tell you that you're doing the right thing or that you're a good person and and, and making the right decision. And I think all of us have good in us and have bad. It's just which you, you depend to, uh, to let come to the forefront. Um, so uh, this is a song about basically waiting for some kind of direction. It's called uh, the title track and it's hanging on the line. Future. And 
and all the things that it might hold. Sometimes I think I've got it covered. Sometimes I'm losing all control. But everybody plays a hero. Sometimes everybody takes the fall. Stacy gotta give a little more to make it. It's hard to read the writing on the wall And I know life can leave you little signs They can be so hard to follow Darling, even in the best of times It all can be so hard to swallow I've been searching for an answer Yeah, I've been waiting for a sign Come today or come tomorrow I'll still be hanging on the line Find all the music and uh, the videos on chrisgardnermusic.com. That's C-H-R-I-S-G-A-R-D-N-E-R music.com. Yeah. All right. I want to say thank you so much, Chris, for appearing on the In a Nutshell TV show thank today. You so much for I know you traveled a long distance no, to get here. It was here. worth it, though. It was certainly uh, worth it. Thank sir. you so much. Thank you. And if anyone's interested in uh, getting one of the CDs, one of uh, Chris Gardner's CDs, uh, look at our Facebook page, In a Nutshell TV Show, and after tonight's broadcast, after this morning's broadcast, uh, we'll put up a blurb and you put your name up there and we'll get a hold of you and get your mailing information and so forth. All right, we've got 10 of them to give away, and so uh, just check it out. Check out our Facebook page. And again, thank you. Again, Alan, thank you. Dolores, thank you so much.